peas and I have no idea what that is and carrots. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. <laughs> right, okay. So, oh my goodness, look at this. Right, very quickly, uh, I shall now reveal where we are. Da, da, da. We're on the HMS Belfast. I told you I'd take you somewhere interesting today. Uh, so how cool is this? Well, we're actually on board the HMS Belfast, which is quite a you know a major warship in our day. Uh, so <laughs> what's this? Wow, sick bay. Where's Dr. McCoy? <laughs> Look, sick bay. Wow. How cool is that? Wow. Look at this. They actually did major operations and stuff. Wow. Exam room. Oh, look at this. This is obviously the uh, sort of ward. So this is where you do your recovery, I guess. You do your recovery here. Wow. Oh, there's a little porthole. Ah, that's cool. Look at this, look. I thought there was actually somebody standing there for a minute. That's one of those things, isn't it? <laughs> uh, cool. Right, let's go this way. I look sort of splints or st stretcher things, I guess. Stretchers. Wow. How cool is this? Wow. This is pretty awesome, man. Right. Let's see what else we've got here. <laughs> right, we've got the, the boat deck up there, but let's have a look what's down here. This is cool, man. I want to try and get to the... Uh, the boiler room after actually. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Right. I don't know where we're heading to now, to be quite honest. Uh, so obviously she's a big ship. Oh look, what's this? Some sort of workshop. Oh, rope. It's like a rope making workshop. Ah. The sail repairs. What's this here? Oh, turret shell room. Oh wow. Shell hoist. Oh. Right, let's go in here. So, I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. Um, Obviously, some sort of sleeping quarters or whatever. Look at this. Wow. Gin. Again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, like I said, this must be the. Uh, what the, what the part of the ship do they call this then? Is it the midships or something? I don't know, I haven't got a clue. I'm just making it up as I go along. I haven't got a clue. Look at these guys. Wow. Pretty cool, eh? Ooh. Oh, more hammocks. So, let's have a look in here. More hammocks in here, I think. Wow, I think we're we're actually heading towards the uh, the stern of the ship, if I'm not mistaken. The further the further we go that way, the further back we're going, I think. And I think there's a way through there, but I'm not sure to be quite honest. But um, to be quite honest, I can't be bothered walking through there. So excuse me, thank you. Right, let's go this way. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
But look at this guy, look. Looks just like me. Sleep. <laughs> don't dig the hairstyles, do you? I'm not sure about the haircuts. <laughs> right, let's go this way. Um, like I say, I want to try and head to the boiler room actually. So, we'll go this way. I think we can actually... Oh, okay. No. No, because we want to go down, not up. Right, okay, so we've passed all this. We'll just have another look at these guys. I don't know what these guys are doing. Uh, is it rum rations or something? Oh, what is this? I wonder. It's got prunes and coffee and... Mm, the Queen God Bless or something. I don't know what that... Oh, you know, them barrels, it just makes me think of rum. But I don't know, I could be completely wrong. I have no idea what that is. Provision issue room. Alright. So it could involve rum. Uh, possibly. <laughs> right, okay, let's. Sorry. That's right. I'm looking at that little like, commissary or whatever. Oh, oh boxes of Mars bars. Uh, let's go in here. Have a quick look in here, shall we? Yeah, it's just more sort of information and stuff, really. <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. Some more sort of information rooms there. I want to try and head to this boiler room, actually. Well, there's the kitchen again. We saw these guys earlier. Keeping the onions. Let's go this way. Oh, look. The savoury. All right, guys. Can I have some mash and uh, some peas, please? Cheers. <laughs> what, what's on the menu today? Oh, fish and chips. Fantastic, my favourite. Cheers. <laughs> Make it snappy, guys. <laughs> Ooh, right. Ooh, some steep stairs. Right, okay, I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm not walking down them holding this camera. Right. <laughs> I shall resume filming shortly. Right. Okay. So I managed to get down the stairs all right, although <laughs> I wouldn't want to keep doing that every day. Oh uh, dear, right, we'll just go back this way for a minute and we'll check out the... Uh... This is quite amazing, actually. Wow. It's really exciting. It's... Look, this is some sort of like navigation... Uh, what's the name of this? Something. Uh, it says Compass and Conversion Machinery Room. So I guess it's something to do with the navigation system, perhaps. I must admit, I have no idea. I'm completely oblivious. Oh, but over... Over... Um, no, not overwhelmed. Um, transmitting room. Oh, look, see communications then. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I love it. Wow. Oh, I don't think I'd like to live on board this thing, to be quite honest. Do you know what I mean? I mean it's like, uh, I'm not a sailor by nature. Look at all this stuff here. Isn't that cool? Wow. Okay, let's go this way. See, look, there's the stairs, right? Oh, and it says no entry, so you can't go back up them. There must be another way out later on, hopefully. Uh, but it says no entry. But there's the stairs I've just come down. Uh, they're quite steep. You might not be able to appreciate that on the camera, but they're quite steep. And uh, <laughs> I must admit, <laughs> with my weight and with all the bags on my shoulder and, and what have you, I was kind of like, oh, I don't like this. I'm going to fall. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow, this is... I must admit, I feel quite overawed. To be quite honest, I feel... I do feel overwhelmed, but not in a negative way but just in a sort of awesome way like you know oh look I've had both engines I've had both engines Ooh. steer 290 oh I say I've had both engines revolutions 124 steer 290 sir wow how cool is this 
Right, mind that iceberg, guys. Whatever you do. Right, let's go up the steps. See how much easier. Now, I'm going to try and keep filming, actually, as I'm going up these stairs. And do you know what? This is not easy either. Um, I think, actually, I'm going to have to stop filming again. <laughs> I can't get up these stairs with this in my hand. Right, I'll catch you guys Okay, in a so minute. it's going to be a bit windy on this one because we're on the the top, well, not the top dead deck, but we're certainly uh, outside at the minute, which means obviously certain parts are going to be windy. So let's have a little look down here, see what we see. Yeah. Wow. This, eh? Oh look, the guns. We're coming up to the guns here. Oh look, main power room. Okay, oh you can smell the, uh, the oil and the grease sort of thing. It's quite, I quite like it. <laughs> well that's typical of me, I love machinery, I do. Actually, machinery fascinates me. Look at this, this is one of the guns. Four inch, apparently. Hmm. Yeah. Look at this, look. Oh, these are actual workshops where they're maintaining the, the vessel. Wow. That is cool. So that's an actual working workshop where there's a chap actually working in there. Obviously, you know, he's obviously doing stuff for sort of helping maintain maintain the, the ship, as it were. Look at this guy having a fag, having a crafty fag. Hey, what's wrong on here, sailor? <laughs> Who said you can have a cigarette there? And especially near live ammo, you should know better. Oh dear. Look at all this gang, gangway and gantry way and stuff. Oh look, what's in there? Oh, it's more actual workshops because I think what it is, this section of the, the ship uh, is, is donated to people who, I, I don't know if they volunteer their time or not. There was a notice around there, I must admit, I didn't really want to read it to be quite honest. Um, but I get a feeling that, like a lot of these things, uh, that aren't always necessarily funded in terms of their restoration and renovation and maintenance. Um, sometimes you get these volunteer groups that have a passion. They either worked on the the ship, or they, you know, uh, you know, they either served on the ship at some point, or, or like I say, maybe. Oh, great! We've got a helicopter flying right over as I'm talking. Just what I needed. Thank you, helicopter. Anyway, so, like I said, uh, sometimes you get these guys uh, and, you know, they'll volunteer their time. They're usually retired persons, generally. Not always, not exclusively. Um, but anyway, that, like I say, I'm making a lot of assumptions here because at the end of the day, uh, I didn't read the blurb. Uh, I didn't read it, um, so I thought, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just making a lot of assumptions. Um, so let's have a little look down here then. Uh, I've noticed my coffee's going cold. Ooh, look. Yeah, look at this. Oh, I say. This must be the officer's mess. Oh, I say. What hell, Jeeves? Yes, this must be the officer's mess. And what a mess it is as well. <laughs> I say, obviously it must be uh, functional because everything looks new and clean. So, I want to move. Maybe it's the, uh, they, they said there's some sort of cafe or restaurant thing on it anyway, so maybe that's what it is. Um, Right, we're coming to the bow of the ship, actually. Uh, no, sorry, stern. No, oh, hang on. Actually, do you know what? I'm completely confused now. 
No, this is the, this is the, yeah, of course, because there's the anchor. Oh, oh. Of course this is the uh, bow, and it's where the biggest guns would be anyway, I guess. Yeah, this is the, this is the bow of the ship. I was at the stern earlier on, but for some reason I got it right. Cool. Oh, you, obviously you can tell I ain't no flipping sea dog. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between the back and the front of the ship. Oh my good giddy ant. That's the size of this anchor thing here, look. And look at the anchor chain. Wow. That's a big old anchor chain. Wow. Yeah, so this is this is the uh, the bow. And look, look at that. Look at that anchor. Look at that. Wow. Mind you, for a big ship like this, I guess you need a big anchor at the end of the day. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Right. So, look at that. Look at that. How she looks from the front. Wow. Oh, that is awesome, man. That is super awesome. Wow. Flipping it. Right, let's, uh, I'm trying to decide which way to go. Do I go back the way I've come or do we go this way? Let's go this way. There's going to be a bit of wind on this one, by the way. I can tell because of the, uh, what do you call it? See, that's where we came in, that's the entrance there, and that's where you buy the tickets at that thing there. So you get the tickets and stuff there, and then you walk up the gantry. Uh, that then, obviously, then connects you to the ship. You see? Uh, so, yeah. Oh, there's the shard there. Cost 25 quid to go up there if you want to go and check the view out on that. Apparently, 25 nicker to go all the way up to the top to it. Mm. Oops, sorry, um, <laughs> I stubbed my toe on something. I thought I was going to fall over for a second. Oh, hey, you can actually go inside it. I think. Oh wow, Look how cool this is! Uh, let's go in this way. See if we can get in. There's a, there's a bunch of people in there at the minute, so. But let's see if we yeah. Wow, you can actually go inside. I didn't realise you could go inside it. Ah, wow. Hey, look. Look at that. Look at the size of these guns. Wow. And of course, these were actually fired. They were actually used. Wow. This is pretty cool, man. Well, look at this, look. Hello! <laughs> oh, wow, look. How cool is this? Look at this. Actually, in the gun turret. Mind you, I guess it wouldn't be. Oh, look, where's one of the shells, look? Oh, my good giddy hand, look at that. Ah, sorry, I'll turn you guys upside down a minute. I'm trying to get it in full view, you see, because. Wow. Mind you, like I said, I guess it wouldn't be much fun if you got hit. A direct hit in here. Well, oh, there's some more here, look. There's another shell there. Uh, obviously, they won't be uh, live shells, obviously, but still, that sort of gives you an idea of it, doesn't it? Oh, wow, look, look at that. Old shells here, look. The firing sequence was controlled from the director control tower under the overall command of the captain and gunway officer. 
A well-trained crew could be expected to fire up to eight rounds a minute from each gun. HMS Belfast guns are now silent, but both forward turrets are trained on a target 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go this way. Uh, now, do we want to go in here? Because I don't know where, unless we've been in here already, I don't know. Or is this the loose again? This might be the flipping loose again. I'm not sure. Where are we? Uh, oh, okay, no. Right, so you can't go in that way. Let's go down. Oh no, hang on. It is the loo, isn't it? Or is it? No, oh, look. Don't know what that is. Oh, battery repair shop. Oh, look. Is that, they've actually got a little thing, look. Little cafe thing. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a little cafe Dubri in there. So that's alright, that's cool. Oh, what's this? VHF and UHF equipment room. Oh wow. What seems to be the trouble, sailor? <laughs> Flat battery. Need a USB port. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, I'm just having a bit of fun. Wow, no, it is. It's all really amazing, man. It really is. Absolutely amazing. Oh dear. Yeah, look at this. Right, so what we got? Oh, it's the Walrus car. So, no entry that way. Let's just have a quick look out this door. See where we are. Right. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's just come out here a minute. We're on some sort of deck thing here. Uh, oh yeah, it's from the other side where we was before. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Because we were on that side when we come through. We'll go back that way. So... Okay. Nope. Yeah, right. Cameron, Cameron! Right, let's go this way. Uh, we'll go up them stairs, I think. So let's have a look. What's in here? I would like to try and get to the engine room at some point. Um, right, let's, let's go. Let's go this way. And get up these stairs. Oh, no, you can't go up the stairs. <laughs> There's no entry that way. Okay, we'll go down. Right. Okay. So I'll catch you guys in a bit because I'm going to go down the stairs and I can't, like I said, <laughs> struggling doing that. Right. Okay. I'll let these people come up. See you in a bit. Right. We're now coming down to the boiler room. Uh, and as you can see, this is where the guys got washed and dressed and, well, washed anyway. <laughs> you can see some showers in the back there. Look. Whee! Wow. Enough sinks. Right. right, so we're heading to the engine room now. Ooh. Hello, my name is Andy Curran and I'm the conservation manager for HMS Belfast. I used to serve in ship's boiler rooms and I can assure you they're really noisy places. In a few seconds you're going to get a quick taste of just how noisy it could be in here, though it still won't be as nearly as loud as it actually would have been at full power. Wow. So we're in the engine room folks, and we're going to go further down in a minute. I'm going to have to turn the camera off again because it steps again, so catch you guys in a minute. Right, one thing I've 
discovered. So I'm filming, so one thing I've discovered, uh, it doesn't pay to be fat on here because I've just noticed how tight this is and I'm struggling getting through it. <laughs> oh my good giddy um. You certainly want to you certainly wouldn't want to be uh, working in the boiler room uh, and uh, eating all the pies. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh my wow. Look at this. Flipping it, it's cramped, isn't it? Wow man. Can't, I mean, see, I've got all my bags on me as well and my flipping what's name as well and oh my goodness I, I'm struggling getting around this. Oh, oh. wow. Well, look at this, look. Wow. This is pretty amazing. Right. Yeah, this is a struggle getting around this, especially with all my bags and stuff on. And then of course you've got to negotiate and navigate around other people as well. Uh, wow. Look at this, look at it. Look at all these pipes and things and car. All these gubbins that makes the ship go away. You don't see any of this on the outside and you see it all on the outside she looks majestic going through the water. And you forget you've got all this, all this gubbins that just makes it go, you know what I mean? It's like, wow. I'm not sure how I get down to the next level, actually. I'm trying to work out how I actually get down to the next level. Because that says no entry. God, blimey, I'm really sweating. Oh, I see. I see how you do it. You go down where that guy went down just before. Uh, right, let's, let's try that. And then of course you've got to come up this way, that's why they've got it, that's why they've got this system where you go down one and come up the other. Kind of makes sense, really. Wow. Oh man, I'm struggling here. That's because of this flipping bag in my... What's the name? I mean, I thought it was tight on the flipping tube sometimes when you're trying to get your bags on places packed and crowded, but flipping heck. I'm going to stop again because I'm going to go down some ladders. I'll see you in a minute.